All right, Saucony, you did it again. You took a food-themed sneaker and just turned it into something fantastic, and this time it's one of my favorite food items. Let's go ahead and check out the Saucony Shadow 6000 in the Cappuccino colorway. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you haven't done so already, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, all that good stuff to help the channel grow. But I really do appreciate everyone who's done so and everyone who's going to do so in the future. But I'm excited about this sneaker, guys, and I hope that wasn't loud because I clapped right into the microphone. Maybe I'm too caffeinated, but if I am, that's all right because that's perfect for the shoe because it took two of my favorite things in sneakers and coffee and brought them together. Today, we're looking at the Saucony Shadow 6000 in the cappuccino color. Now, this is one of the two sneakers in their coffee pack. Up here, you're going to see the Shadow 5000 in the espresso color but hopefully we'll get that one soon you know just gotta go buy it i guess but the shadow 6000 is one of my favorite models so i had to go with this one first this again this is literally the signature sneaker for coffee time kicks which will come back eventually i'm just trying to rework it so it makes sense because i don't think you guys really want to hear about sneaker news because there's so many people doing it so we're gonna retool it to something else but trust me coffee time kicks will find its way back in some way or form because it has to be done but getting right into the shoe guys again we're looking at a shadow 6000 and it is going to take that traditional makeup of the shoe and just dip it in coffee basically again we're looking at the cappuccino colorway which i'll put a picture of a i guess a typical cappuccino here you'll see how it layers the colors the same way you would actually see one of those drinks if you had a clear cup i guess but first thing you're gonna see is gonna be this amazing amazing was it pigskin suede they use on the saucony right across the front in this deeper brownish coffee color and of course i'm with the b-roll for you but saucony is already known for their amazing materials and it stays right on par and guess what it's not a collaboration they did this just as a general release so you're not having to go you know search and find something difficult that's because there's only limited numbers or the quality doesn't suck because it's in line it's fantastic just like everything else they put out so you go across that sway look at the color change everyone looks for is right there and right on top of that you're going to get a lighter brown color which is going to be a shorter haired suede there which is going to be super nice and soft to the touch with your perforations up top now staying along the mud guard and the lateral medial sides here you're going to have a hit of a darker hairy suede peeking out right above that little peak area of the sneaker right underneath that that medium length that short i guess you have the very short short and then a long haired suede there so all of it's there and it just looks so good together i'm not a typical big fan of brown sneakers but when it's done in layers like this where it's not just looking like a dress shoe or boot i can deal with it and i really like it but again because also signifies like one of my favorite things in coffee now on top of that you're going to get your laces done up in a whitish kind of not stark white but almost like a creamish color you're gonna get a flat lace but you're gonna the eyelets are gonna be in a nice soft white or cream leather going up the top of the sneaker here done up so nicely and you're gonna sit on top of a perforated leather tongue which again is super soft done up in that light cream color and one of my favorite things about the shoes they really just dig into that that coffee theme by giving you the coffee logo here and it says best quality by Saucony and that's typically one of those things that's like best quality coffee to tie it into the shoe branding which is fantastic to me now behind the tongue you're going to get a darker cream color leather which is super nice as well and inside the shoe you're going to have that same darker cream color that's going to really line the back end of the sock liner here and it's very soft very nice to the touch now you're going to have these little webs that come off the side of the shoe that are going to connect the eyelets to the suede down here done up in that darker cream color the same we saw in the sock liner here which again just gives this really nice contrast really gives you the visual of a cappuccino in a coffee cup so i really like how they do it they really were a thoughtful thought process behind this to give you something that made sense they didn't just throw brown on and call it coffee they made it look like an actual drink which is really cool to me now you're going to get the saucony branding here there's going to be that it's going to be a lighter cream color you're going to see that same color here in just a minute but it's going to sit on top of that same color we saw on the toe box again perforated suede the saucony branding is going to be the suede as well just really nice all around to the touch i am super impressed by this shoe now another thing you're going to notice i'm going to actually pull up this second pair because it has the lace still in it but you have the flat white laces but if you want to go another piece of contrast there get some more color pop if you want to go with the darker cream laces you can do so and that way it almost signifies you know you have the cream on top of the coffee but some time people like to put cinnamon on top or you know different toppings that gives you that extra piece of that that cream or cinnamon color so you have it right on top which is really cool there now next we're going to get into the insole real fast 
Typical Saucony insole is gonna be foam with the cloth liner on top. But it's gonna be done up in that cream color with the best quality uh, by Saucony with the coffee branding there. You guys know I love a good theme sneaker. And honestly, Saucony is one of the, I think, two that do it in, in, the, in the shoe game right now. There's not many other people out there going out of their way to tell this kind of cool stories, whether it be these or the different other food items they had or things like these space fights, the space themed shoes. Saucony really goes out there to give you these really cool shoes that in most cases are pretty attainable. I mean, these are still sitting on the website right now. Uh, I want to say price point was 140, but you guys you know what I'm going to say already. You're paying way more money for things that have crappier quality. 140 for something that is just a supreme quality sneaker and just does a good job. Again, give you, even though it's not like this really important story, just something cool. If you like coffee, maybe you are like me to have a deeper connection with it. But if you just like a nice darker shoe for the fall, this is it right here. Now, continuing on with the shoe, you're gonna get to the top of the ankle color. You're gonna have that cream color right across, done up in a nice, nice cream leather. You're gonna have that lighter cream color we saw in that webbing on top, going across the top of the heel cup with some more of that cream leather poking out with the darker brown or that coffee color sock and branding there, along with that darker suede we saw on the mud guard as well. And like we saw on the front with that hairy suede peeking out here, gonna have the same thing on the heel as well, done up on both the lateral and medial side. Now, getting down to the midsole, this is looks like someone tried to coffee dye it or coffee dip it because it has that cream colored midsole that everyone's looking for now. Very nice, you're gonna have your sock branding here and flip it over, you're gonna have the coffee colored kind of gum outsole. It's gonna be darker, brown is going to give you the lug traction that we always going to get on the Saucony uh, Shadow 6000 along with the Saucony branding right there in the middle. But this absolutely positively one of my favorite shoes I've got my hands on in a while. I mean, I know it's getting that point of the year where we're going to start doing these top 10 lists. I'll tell you this, unless you're kind of in my mindset of not getting sucked into the same shoes over and over again, you are not going to like my top 10 list because there are shoes out here that aren't the most hype. But God dang it, if you got them in hand next to each of those shoes, tell you Head, like head and shoulders, they will beat them in quality and just awesome, like I say, storytelling, just things that you're looking for in your shoe. Saucony's doing it. And guys, I bought this, by the way. Saucony didn't send this over. So I'm telling you these nice things and awesome things after I spent my money. So you guys already know I'm already going to give you the facts, no matter if it's sent over to me or if I bought it. And I, when I tell you this is a great shoe, I'm telling you this is amazing. Get your hands on it when you can. There's still a lot of sizes out there. I, don't, I want to say it's a full size run but there are a ton of sizes still left. I think some of the smaller sizes and some of the very big sizes are gone, but I put links down below so you're able to check that out. But this is absolutely just fantastic. One of my favorites for the year. And it fits just like any other Saucony Shadow 6000. To me, it's true to size, fits perfectly. Try them on if you feel like maybe you have a wider foot or maybe you don't like a snug fit. Because these do, I think, more of a one-to-one -one fit. They fit nicely. Um, you don't have a lot of extra space in them. So maybe if you want a looser fit, go up half a size. But I definitely advise trying them on so you get exactly what fits the best for you. But let me know what you guys think. I've ranted and raved about this sneaker for, I don't know, maybe about seven minutes. I don't know. But I'm just really impressed by it. I just got in the mail a couple days ago and I just had to go ahead and you know, get the video out for you. I did a little short with the coffee. You know I had to do that as well. But that's out there. You can check it out on all uh, Instagrams, Twitters, even YouTube shorts. So let me know what you guys think about the shoe. Again, the Shadow 6000 Cappuccino. Check it out. Check out just Saucony in general because they have some dope stuff. I mean, you already saw the J-Tips collaboration. There's more to come with him. And just even again, their inline releases, their general releases are just fantastic. Let me know down below what you guys think in the comments. Until next time, see ya.